Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. Alright, so I'm stuck in this fenced-in area that I just barely managed to get inside of. I have Nomad's belongings, just need to bring them back to him. So, my current mission is to get the freaking hell out of this gated-in area, or fenced-in area, rather. Of course. I couldn't even get in here without jumping off of a freaking hill, but there's dogs. Of course there's dogs. Hi. Wait, if I jumped from up there on the hill, and I can get up to the hill, then couldn't I have just walked over? I'm so confused. Or, oh no, that's right, yeah. This makes no damn sense. Are you really supposed to go all the way over here? Wait, where the hell am I? There I am. Yeah, am I just supposed to keep going this way? Also, I need something to drink. My throat is parched. Let's try an energy drink. Hmm, there's people or something. A couple of blips just popped up on my map. Blippity bloops. Is that a way out? Okay, I think that might actually be the way out here. Hold on, are these monolith soldiers? Are they gonna shoot me? Yes, this is how you're supposed to get there. Okay, wow. I certainly took the shortcut. Alright, they're cool. Cool, 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 cool. What is wrong with your face? Hold on. I want to look at your face so I can comment upon how wrong it is. Like, like do you have barnacles growing on your face? Hey, hey, dude. Dude. Dude, turn around. Dude. Dude. Dude! That's fine. Hey, what's up? Tell me something interesting. Being monolith is, in a way, like being ancient samurai. We have our code of honor. Discipline. We keep humble. We train hard, and we have a master. Monolith. Right. Just like a samurai. Actually, I don't know, that's probably true. Except, uh, I don't think the samurai were quite as crazy as the monolith. Convulsing around. Worshipping some... ...thing. Something scampering about. Regardless... Oh, hey. Yoink. Free sniper rifle. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, puts me overweight. Well. It's got a better you weight. I shall speak with many you. And wash the way the impure. What? <laughs> it's not funny! The weight to money ratio is actually better for the sniper than the RPG, but in terms of total worth, the RPG is better. Actually, let's just drop these. Yeah, well, maybe I should keep it. Do I already have an RPG? In my truck? In stretch? I don't know, I'm just gonna keep it. Whoops. Got like no freaking ammo. Yeah, so this guy wanted me to join him, so I'm wondering if I still can. And not that I want to, but I just want to know if I can continue the conversation. So they don't shoot me in the face like they did before when I try to hide inside of their abode. Okay, where'd the leader be? Back where I saw him before? 
Yeah, seems so. Hello. Hey. Hey, Patriarch, what's up? During meditation once, I reached a strange being with my mind. It, it had a powerful mind. It told me, I was once as you are, and then contact was broken. Later I realized it was a controller. Controllers used to be human? That is interesting indeed. Cool story. Okay, so you've lost interest in recruiting me? Because a blowout happened? Okay. Bye. Well, at least I don't have to wait for anybody when I run back. Does it work? Is this a working car? No. Almost looks like one. Okay, well, I don't think the run back is going to be very eventful, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, let's go return Nomad stuff. I brought something special for you. You found my belongings. I ran into some monolith goons on my way, but here they are. Thank you, thank you. I thought I'd never see them again. So the code of the safe is 218. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Keep the belongings to protect you from the anomaly and get the passkey. Return to me and I'll activate the passkey to X10. Okay. By the way, do you sell anything? No. Okay, so I stuffed all of the stuff that I did not want in the back of the trunk, of course. Put the RPG in there. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff back here. Yeah, I also took off the grenade launcher off my weapon, because it's actually quite heavy and I have no grenades, so it's nothing but dead weight. Also, I want to see what I can make. In the artifact combiner thing, so let's go ahead and grab all these. Get all the body parts. Shit, I, don't, I just took something random. Okay, I think that's it. Yep. What the hell did I t take? I took some random crap. Oh, it was this elite no anomaly detector. Get out of here. Oh yeah, I suppose I should probably grab the thing that actually combines the anomalies. Or the artifacts, rather. It's a slightly good idea. Okay, uh, bubble now. No. No. Yeah, here we go. To make a cuttlefish. Uses stuff I don't care about to make a thing that I don't care about. Yeah, somebody was pointing out to me, though, that, uh, I think it was Sauron's eye. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> holy crap. Yeah, somebody pointed out to me that Sauron's eye is actually worth 40,000. So, I've been thinking about these artifacts simply as things I can use, but I actually hadn't considered that I can sell them. But again, this uses, yeah, this uses my endurance artifact. So, I definitely do not want to make that. So, let's first look for something I can use, or, or would want to use, rather. And then, if not, let's just make some money. So, Cuttlefish. Gives me a little bit more rupture protection. Eh. Don't really care. Wow, I don't even have a stone flower? Are you kidding me? Wait, I don't have a stone flower? That can't be right. There's no way I don't have a stone flower. Oh, maybe it's only stone blood I have. There's multiple s stones. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, I can make a rock. Whoa, that one's really, 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 really good. Plus 10% health, plus 10% rupture, plus 10% bulletproof cap. Holy crap. It's not worth any more than the individual artifacts 
on their own. Actually, it's worth less if you consider the price of the Snorkfoot. But the effects of that are very good. It's just like this, this plus 15 health, except it has all the negative effects taken away. The health uh, benefit is slightly less, but then it's got a bunch of other good benefits. So let's just go ahead and make this, yeah. Hell yeah. Boom. Let's do it. Four hours. Pack that thing away and get back on the road. Let's make sure I don't actually want to use any of these. Nope. 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 Nah, I don't want to use them. Okay. Let's make sure I've dumped everything. I'm down to 30 kilograms, which means I think I have. Yeah, pretty sure. Let's also stick all my ammo up here. I really am running low. I've got almost no AP rounds. I feel like I'm missing something. But no, it seems to be fine. Hm. Yeah, I really do need to make a gun run at some point, and... My armor is seriously falling apart. It's actually at, I think, exactly 50%. Yeah, it's actually at exactly 50%. My burn protection is at 40% down from 80. Yeah, I need to repair it. The thing is, though, I don't actually want to repair it. Truth be told, I just want to buy a uh, exoskeleton suit. But if I want to do that, I need to sell all my stuff, which means I need to sell it to somebody who would actually give me a good price for it. Which... I think would just be Petrenko, and I really don't want to go all the way back to Petrenko. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Alright, where am I going? <laughs> That's where it is. I can't wait. In engine. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Duh. Wait a minute, can I even get in here? It's a fence. I don't think you can. Unless there's a hole in the fence? Oh wait, yeah, there is. Freaking engine stalled. Alright, let's just leave this on the leave this on the road. You'll be fine there, Stretch. Just relax, ignore the phantoms. Look at the sun. Beautiful, beautiful sun. Alright, there's probably going to be horrible radiation in here, so let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's some nasty radiation. Some good artifacts up here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, hello. Two one eight. 
Um, how does this work? Yeah, two, yep. Oh, crap. Messed it up. There's <laughs> some bread in here. Bunker documents, that's what I came for. Well, actually, no, I didn't come for the documents, I came for the passkey. Why does it say documents, but it, it's actually a passkey? Well, anyway. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Worth a damn, there's actually no radiation here, which is nice. There's gotta be some good artifacts here, right? I mean, this place is so nasty. That's typically how it goes. The nastier the place, the better the artifacts. The radiation when you're up there is insane. Then again, I do have a lot of anti-rad meds. Let's go scouting. Okay, am I getting radiation? I am. I don't see anything but anomalies. Well, let's go to an area that I didn't come to this place from. So maybe I can find something new. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, here's the stuff from the safe and the passkey. What now? Let me tinker with it. There, I reactivated it. It should work now. My work is done, Stalker. Go avenge those who died. I think I can die in peace now knowing that the errors of my colleagues and I will be corrected. Hopefully all this can be forgotten in due time. I hope so. So just to be clear, he can't buy anything, because he doesn't have money, right? Okay, just wanted to check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if they have unlimited money, then there's like a couple dashes here instead of an actual figure. Because those are the NPCs that I need to sell stuff to. So where's the lab? Right there? Yep. Alright, let's go grab the car. Go grab Stretch, and let's get as far there as possible. I really hope I don't run out of ammo. I actually kind of want to bring a secondary gun, just in case I do. Oh, there's an artifact back there. Stone... Stone blood? Stone flower. Ah. Always get it wrong. Unfortunately, I can't take this thing very far, because there is a roadblock here. So, yeah, uh, secondary weapon. Take this RPG and help take down the chopper. I already did that, man. You're living in the past. Okay, yeah, I've got two RPGs now. What do I have ammo for? Got ammo for the sniper rifle, but that's really not something I want to bring underground. 
into a lab. If anything, I don't want to bring a shotgun into a... Fuck off. A shotgun into a lab, but I only have 20 rounds for that. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, I'm kind of worried you're going to explode the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this. Okay. It uh, should be safe here. Yeah, I'll just stick with my current weapon. I'm not super low on ammo. Suppose I could bring an RPG as my backup weapon, but that seems a little bit over the top. I would like a grenade, though. Oh well. Wonder what fresh horrors are gonna await me up here. Okay, I'm getting blips. What are those, bandits? Monolith? Monolith, okay. Good. Dude's been there for a while. Into another dark lab we go. Attention. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. New task disable security system. Okay. Let's make a perma save. Turn off security log one and security log two. I don't like those noises. Oh shit. Oh god. Maybe I should have brought the RPG. Oh, that thing disappeared? Seems like all systems are operational. Dear lord, taking control of the brain scorcher sounds a lot more serious now. Will it even work? that thing. Whoa, that's so cool. Hi. Hi, ghost. Seems like all systems are operational. Dear lord, taking control of the brain scorcher sounds a lot more serious now. Look at that. It's Did like it it's dancing. <laughs> that's adorable. It's like it's walking around a little droplet. I thought it was just like hard. You know, like a, a stone. It actually dances around. I could stare at this thing all day. Alright, come with me. Little cute thing, you. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Seems like all systems are operational. Dear Lord, taking control of the brain scorcher sounds a lot more serious now. Will it even work? Alright, just picked up a couple gas masks, which is suggestive. Of the presence of gas. As, as, 
All right, I can't waste money on those. Uh, money. I can't waste ammo on those. Ooh, what is that? Slug. I don't know if I've ever gotten one of those. Oh, no. No, I have. Still a pretty good one, though. Well, zombie's going downstairs. It's like, this guy's lame. I'm going somewhere else. Okay, before I go down, let's go horizontally. Nope, pathfinding's messed up. Holy shit, what the hell is going on in here? Let's go here first. Oh my god, this place is huge! Where do I even start? That doesn't look good. Is that gonna explode? Nope. That looks dangerous. But, it's perfectly safe. Alright, remember I need to disable security locks. Um... I don't think I can walk in here. Unless I walk on the pipe. Another slug? Hmm. Is that one of the security things? Oh yeah, I wasn't even looking at the map. Yeah, here's one. Yeah, there's some crazy shit going on here. Inspectors and fires everywhere. I keep hearing really nasty things, but I haven't seen them yet. Alright, looks like the next one is- Oh my god! Oh! The voices! The voices! Stop! Stop! Oh god. Here, you little shits. Oh my god, those things are obnoxious. Oh, for the love of God. Stupid light. Come here, face me in the light! I dare you. I dare you! Alright. Pull teaser gone, I think. Can I stand in here? I can. Alright, so the security thing is either above me or below me. Probably below me. anything in here. Artifacts or anything of the sort? Doesn't appear there's anything in there. Worth a damn. <laughs> nah, they're not worth the ammo.
You know, if you really look at... If you really look at the character design for the Snorks, they are honestly terrifying. I mean, look at that. Holy shit. Then. Is that water? Or something weird? Nah, it's just water. Yeah, I think I just need to go down. Alright, down we go. Yep, this is the floor that the thing is on. Looks like I'm going below it, but that's... Oh, okay. That's okay, I probably just need to get up on some sort of a railing or something. It's a pulty. Hmm. Gas mask. More gas masks. And batteries, thank god. Batteries and gas masks. Yeah, I think it's up there. Oh shit. Ah, forget it. That night vision makes everything too bright. Okay. Disabled. Now what? Find and enter the door code. Oh my god, this is a multi-step thing, isn't it? Okay. I, th I really think I should have brought more ammo. Oh my god, I'm start- uh, Yeah, this is long. This is really long. And I can already hear the, the burr- the burrers or whatever the hell they are. Which you can sink a lot of bullets into. I'm hoping there's some supplies left behind. Yeah, something. Even if, for, even if it's for a shit weapon, just anything. Yeah, this is not the way to go. This is not going anywhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, it's gotta be like, headshots only. Yeah, okay, that's that's too dangerous. Um, I don't think it's actually a poltergeist. I think that's an anomaly.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an anomaly. Okay. Moving on up. Actually, maybe I don't even need to kill it. I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. Let's see if I can. What about this way? What's this way? It's obviously not where I need to go, but... <laughs> not the gas mask. Throwing objects at me. Okay. Also looking for stores of ammo. Some sort of an armory. Oh shit! Oh, fuck, that scared me. Hi, bye. Alright, well, if he's there, then he's not over here. Oh, it's that thing again. Oh fuck, what's the code? I don't know what the code is. What's the code? Thought that rate it should remain stable. Psy emissions have stopped. What the fuck is the code? No one leaves until the test is finished. I have no idea what the code is. Test subjects outside the lab. Shall we begin? Have you gotten the neurotransmitter installed yet? Yes. What the fuck is the code? Um, trying to think. That's not related. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm confused. No one leaves until the test is finished. The antennas are operational, sir. Test subjects are outside the lab. Has Herman gotten Shall the neurotransmitter begin? installed yet? Yes? Then let's schedule a test tomorrow. Security shutdown necessary. Shit. Oh, right. Part of the quest is find the door code. Find. That doesn't mean find the door, that means find the code, right? Shit. The antennas are operational, sir. Test subjects are outside the lab. Right. And like, wait, what? Did I just open it? No, it's just a generic noise. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to actually find the code. I'm kind of confused. Like, because I don't actually remember entering my, uh... Oh, okay, that's dangerous. I don't actually remember entering my passkey here. I guess I used it on the way in or something? Yeah, I don't really get it. Okay, I'm just gonna go and try to find something. I'm probably gonna run out of batteries just like I did in the, the old lab. Oh god! I think I need to kill that thing. I probably do. Alright. Let's be very thorough, shall we? I'm holding down F, by the way, so... I'd be able to see anything that popped up. Hi. Oh god, there's multiples of them. There's there's many burrs. Ow. Motherfucker. I think I need to kill them. Oh, 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 wait, this might be it. Yes. Pickle, run! Things are uncertain. I've changed the code to the door. It's now 3823. 3823. 3823. 3823. 3823. 3823. 
All right, I did just get a weapon, by the way. Which I want to equip very much. Okay, it's already equipped. Okay. Got some ammo. Got a very limited number of shots for this thing, but I um, think I'll be okay. The fuck is down there? Whoa. Another PDA. More supplies, another weapons, more ammo. Excellent, excellent. Just what I need. Oh, God. Alright. Are you gonna come up? You are. Alright, I'm actually gonna take you out. And the reason I did that is because I want some time to read what the hell I picked up. Let's take a look. Alright. 3023, yep, found PDA. Okay, so what did these say? It's a tragedy. During the test this morning, emissions that should have not made it into the lab somehow passed through. The test subjects outside were turned into violent, brainless monsters. Inside, the emissions were so strong that some had their brains explode. Brain Scorcher. That's what this place really should be called. Lucky for us, I got to the failsafe before everyone died. One of the casualties was Pro Professor Beanpalov. The shadow scared me. Beanpalov? It wasn't a pretty sight at all. It's damage controlled madness. It's damage controlled madness down here. Even now, it seems the government might be thinking about shutting the labs and experiments down. I have no idea what will happen next. But I'm not staying here like a headless chicken. Okay, this information might be important. Probably not, but it might. And at the least, it's interesting. Tomorrow's the big day. After years of work, the radar complex is ready for a test run. Beanpalov seems confident everything will check out. Heck, even Lebedev from X2 came to visit. You'd think he'd have far more important things to do. Apparently not. Anyways, after testing failsafe mechanisms yet again, they are indeed robust. If things go wrong, we'll have a way to cut the emissions short. I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> well, I don't think it failed very safely, did it? Crap, that's bright. Holy crap! Job marked one, we're very pleased. Come and see me, we need to talk. Uh, okay, I need to avoid getting hit by this medical chair thing that looks really heavy, oh god. Okay, well, I shut down the brain scorcher, I suppose, but uh, there's still some paranormal activity going on in here.
There's gotta be special stuff in here too, but I think I just need to get the hell out. Oh shit. Hi. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Unless this opens? Nope. Makes it sound like it's opening, but it doesn't. Uh, let's go. What about down there? What's down there? I don't think I want to go down there. Sounds like the seventh circle of hell. Deactivating security protocols. Oh shit. Reactor core in critical condition. You have one minute left. Time to go. Hey, my bubble completed. Oh god, please don't kill me. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck off! Oh dear god. Wait, this isn't the way to go, is it? No, god damn it. Uh can I make it? Can I make it? Nope. <laughs> okay, wrong way. I need to go up first. God, your character's so bad at going upstairs and you're sprinting. Even when you're walking, too. Okay, plenty of time, plenty of time. You guys don't look like monolith, you look like stalkers. Yeah, you are a stalker, what happened to the monolith? It's weird. Alright, uh, where is Veronin? Up here? I've been there, right? Chernobyl? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's back near the bar. Actually, that might be at the bar. Yeah, I think it is at the bar, actually. Okay, well, I am gonna get back to my car and drive over there, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's have a little chat with Veronin. Thank you, Marked One. Duty owes you. Glad to help, General. Although I've got to ask, what's with these tremors? Ah, yes. Now that you mention it, the quakes we feel are caused by an old experimental earthquake device. A derelict, but functional weapon of destruction. That could have been used to target specific areas on the globe. It wasn't such a problem, but ever since we've moved here, the tremors have risen. Even Freedom have noticed them and are accusing us of instigating all this. For the record, we didn't. Alright, well, I've got to turn it off for everyone's sake. Where's it situated? It's in a lab under the old water dam. I've sent others to investigate, but they haven't returned. Another lab, you don't say. Okay. Oh my god, if I never step foot in another lab again, I, I will be very, very happy. Nothing good ever came out of labs, it seems. Nothing but places of experiments and horrors. I'll take care of that, too. They're getting worse, and who knows what a strong one will do to this building. All right, so where is it located? 
Lab X7. Okay, so it's actually in the very same uh, region. Cool. Don't have to travel too far. So, we need to do some trading. Oh my god. Is there something better than the exoskeleton suit here? Because there's a lot of stuff. There's the exoskeleton. There's my suit. Yeah, that military armored suit is more expensive than the exoskeleton. Let's see. Bulletproof. Nah, you know what? The exoskeleton is worth it simply for the fact that it has the plus 20 kilogram carry weight. Like, even if everything else was the same, it would be worth it so much. Radiation 70, radiation 30, explosion 80, explosion 70. Okay, so it looks like the military armored suit is kind of like a cross between the the SIVA suit and the exoskeleton. Where it doesn't have quite as good protection against the elements as the SIVA suit. And it doesn't have quite the armor protection of the exoskeleton, but it has decent in both. But uh, I want the exoskeleton simply for the carry capacity, if nothing else. Whoa, wait, what about this? This one. Uh, yeah, this universal protection. Oh, it, it's literally exactly the same as the SIVA suit in stats. Never mind. Except it's cheaper, for some reason. Those are terrible. Okay, well, I need ammunition. And a lot of it. I will take all of your ammunition for my gun. Thank you. And now I'm poor. Also could use some grenades. Yep, that's the kind I use. I will take those, thank you. I think I need to go back to Petrenko to sell my stuff. I mean, I don't have to sell my stuff there. But I also want to repair my weapon. And he's going to give me a better price. I mean, you don't repair stuff, right? No, he doesn't, and I don't think you do either. Nope. Yeah, if I want to repair my stuff, I gotta go back to Petrenko. Unless one of you lovely Japs do? Repair stuff? No? Anyone back here? Hello? Nope. Well, I'm probably gonna do that... ...probably before the beginning of the next episode. Uh, before I go, though, one more thing I want to do... ...is... ...get my completed artifact. Actually, wait, I think I already got it. I, I did notice there was a bubble in my artifact, in my inventory. Which I don't remember picking up. But that's not what I made, is it? Hold on. I think maybe it made something else. It must have been a failure transmutation or something, because... I, I think I made a bubble... Which does not have the stats that I want it to have. Not at all. It's the plus health thing, unless I just, like, skipped over it accidentally. What was it called? Something special. And obviously I would only have one of it. I don't think it's here. Yeah, it must have been a failure of uh, transmutation. Okay, well... Yeah, so I'm going to sell some stuff and repair my weapon at Petranko's before the beginning of the next episode and then probably buy an exoskeleton suit as well. We'll see what happens. It depends on how much money I can get. Because I do need $100,000 for the exoskeleton suit and I also want a buffer for buying ammo and, you know, fuel and whatnot. Although I do still have six fuel left, so it's not too much of an issue, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.